Uh, well, yesterday we talked about Xavi's praise for Usman Dembele. He is not the only one to have been waxing lyrical about the player. This is Martin Brathwaite. He says he makes more of a difference than Lewandowski. He has huge talent. I've never seen anyone like that. Messi is something else, but I've never seen anyone like Usman. Craig, this is quite the Dembele loving right now. Can he keep up this fine form? Well, I don't agree with that statement, but that's, that's just my opinion. Uh, it's about putting the ball in the back of the net, and Lewandowski has done it consistently for years and years. Uh, hats full, bags full of, of goals. Yeah, I mean, we've always known Dembele was a talent. That was never really up for discussion. It, it, was, it was discipline, it was fitness, and it was form. And at the moment, or to be fair to him, towards the end, the, the, the second half of last year, it got better. And then, of course, he had the, uh, the summer where it was, he didn't know if he was coming or going. Uh, the longer it went on, the longer it did look like he was going to stay. I, I believe the contract is a, is a salary reduction for him. So that hasn't affected him. Uh, and his form is good. And so, uh, for me, it's like, it's not a big pat on the back here. This is like, well, <laughs> this is what you were paid to do. This is what you should be bringing. This is what we know you have. It's not, it's not a surprise. It, it, it's a frustration when he's not doing that, and it's it's good to see when he's doing it. So, so no, I, I get it. it, it it's an, a great option for Chavi, one that he maybe thought he wasn't going to get on a regular basis when he came in because he thought, what can kind he of player am I getting? One that maybe doesn't want to be here, one that's inconsistent, and one that's injured half the time. At the moment, he's not got any of those problems. What's the thoughts on it, Joel? When we look at the French national team picture, is he playing himself into a starting berth there? <laughs> I mean, now I think his place in the squad is, is there's no debate around him. He's regained that place that he lost. By the way, let's not forget, he's a World Cup winner. And then he disappeared because of all the reasons that Craig just mentioned. There was no consistency. There was a lot of injuries. Uh, there was a lot of issues of the pitch with discipline. So he lost that place that he, he will regain now. He will be called up if he stays fit. If he's not injured between now and the international break, he will be called up by Deschamps and, and this is obviously a, a very key international break because it's the last one before the squad are announced for the World Cup and usually or certainly for us in France when Deschamps calls you up in the, in, in the last transfer window before a big tournament you're, you are in really we kind, of, we kind of know that so I think he will be there will he start that's another debate espe especially more because of the, 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 the tactical system if Deschamps keeps the three at the back and still plays Benzema and Mbappé up front with a 10 behind, whether that's Nkunku or Griezmann, then there's no, there's no space there for a winger, Dembélé or Coman, players like that. However, Dembélé brings him another option. He can go back to a back four in a 4-3-3, for example. He can also play with a back three in a 3-4-3 with two wingers alongside a Benzema or having even Kylian as a, as a sort of a winger so he need to start or out of position. So he brings, you, brings him something different and, and Deschamps loves him. This is, this was, and all managers, every manager that has, has had him or worked with him, loves him. The problem is there was a time where you could not really rely on him uh, despite all his talents. But now if he, if he shows that consistency and uh, the fact that he can stay fit, then I think Deschamps will, will love him again and will take him and I think he could potentially play a big part even as an impact sub for France at the World Cup. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.